Welcome to Sea of Stars. I'm Mighty Z, and this is the Sea of Stars demo. It's a Chrono Trigger light game. Um, you got Yatsunori Mitsuda doing some of the songs. This is gonna be good. Thought I'd throw it up on the channel. Let's get to it. Okay, Sea of Stars, prequel to the game The Messenger. It was a the Messenger was a 2D Ninja Gaiden throwback. Super good game, craziness. Time travel was a huge factor in that game. Um, not to spoil it, but um, there was a crazy story from the past in the third act of that, and I was like, wow, that sounds like it should be a game. And it looks like they made that a game. So, man. It's, this game is like a Chrono Trigger-esque, like, top-down RPG, isometric style, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. Loved Chrono Trigger back in the day. The color and story and all of it. Okay, we have the sun and the moon. All right. Okay, with two characters. Let's see. Oh, let us choose. Cool. Well, this is. I I saw trailers, and in the trailer, they look like they're both in the party. So I don't know what this will actually decide. Hmm. Okay, we have Zale here. Okay. Valerie, okay. You know what, guys get enough playing RPGs as the pro tag. Let the ladies have a shot. Plus, I kind of like the moon better. All right. Oh, are there gonna be fire and ice? I oh, will find out, we'll find out. Already liking the music. Here we go. No way, that was awesome. Yeah, what a ride. The Elder Miss wasn't kidding. So, the eclipse will happen soon, but we're no closer to Wraith Island. I doubt we'll find a ship at this altitude. To ground level then? Only one way to go from here. Okay, we can move, all right. Okay, so yeah, we have the whole crew. We have a little crew here. We have Carl, Zale, and Valerie. It's nice. I love when the game starts you off with um, with a crew, you know? Xenoblade starts you off with three and you pick up another three immediately. Good stuff. And why would you meet people only one at a time and, you know, in any adventure? You'd meet them in, you know, in groups. Alright, so... Music is okay. Very colorful already. Let's see what our crew does real quick. Uh, okay. The normal stuff. So, equipment. She has a staff. Um, Zale has a sword. Of course you do. Spiky hair, blondie with a sword. No one's seen that before. Carl, what do you got? A lid. Carl, is that a pot lid? I think I'm gonna like Carl. Okay. I'm going to assume she's the mage? We'll find out though. Hopefully we'll be baking, breaking tropes. Okay, so we gotta press A to jump. That's good, it's not an auto jump, so shouldn't do anything by accident. Should be nice. Got some gold. Alright. It's a good tone setter. The intro to any great adventure is the most important part. Well, the intro and the conclusion, anyway. Alright, where do we go? Okay, I need to learn the visual language of the game. I can go down here. Battle, battle! All right, Chrono Trigger ass battle. We battle where we are. No scene change. Nice. Um, now I know this game is action command, so I should be able to time this. Okay, now that wasn't great. Let me try this again. 
Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, you can time it. Second. Yeah, okay, you can time uh, defense and attack. Hold on, what is... Oops. Uh, okay, I can absorb those things. We're glowing, so I'm gonna assume that means power. Boom. All right. Fire me for my timing. Need to learn. Boost her. All right, let's hear the victory. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're not a great RPG unless you have a catchy victory fanfare jingle. Nice. Now, I don't know how long this is going to be. You watching this later will have a much better idea of how long it'll be. If this doesn't say part one, then you know exactly how long this is going to take. And if it says part one, it went a little longer than I thought it did. The demo, so I haven't really done it yet. We got here. I don't know what these are. These craftables. We're going to have cooking later. Looking forward to that. But yeah, this game is... Uh, the messenger was a ninja guy and throwback. They got the guy to do some music, ninja guy and that's music for that, and it was great. Love that game. And then this game trying to throw back to Chrono Trigger, and you got Mitsu to do some of the music. I have high hopes for this game, because uh, the messenger had time travel as an element. And this game, trying to be like Chrono Trigger, has me very excited. Oh, we're being watched. Ooh, ninja. Oh, you, now you're thinking with portals. <laughs> she looks just like Sheena from Tales of Symphonia, who watched you from afar at first and then became a cool party member later. So maybe we'll get her later too. All right. So before the game started, there was a note that said the game is still work in progress. Lots of stuff can change. We're jumping in raw, probably in the middle of the game or close to the start of the game, so we don't know what's happening in the story quite yet, but it'll make sense later. For now, pirates going to a port called Port Brisk. We're gonna have a good time, We're gonna have a good day. Let's go. There's always a nice tavern on a quest. Okay. Still making a deal with pirates? They seem nice enough to me. Carl's a good, friendly dude. Maybe naive, but friendly. All right, here goes nothing. We are monks on a quest. I said I had to study, study for finals. Waiter said, oh, not a small, than a medium. He apologized and again gave me a lie. Studying for finals, very relatable. Let's see, my friend here, it's one of my many connections, told me about interesting stuff on the wind tunnels. Oh, that sounds like an interesting place. Which I didn't need to hear since I practically invented it. Alright. Thanks again for the help. Assume you're from a side quest. Uh, twice on the same, would do it. Alright. Let's see, oh yeah? Okay. You look special. Talk to me if you want to hear a spooky story. That's a weird way to introduce yourself. I'm telling you, I saw it with my own eyes, man. It was crazy. All right, yeah, pirate stories. All right, here we go. Well, look who it is. All right, have you beat Valtteri at arm wrestling? After which, Pirate Honor will take you to Wraith Island. What do you say? Uh, we accept. I want to see this arm wrestling action. Let's do this. We accept. Everybody, arm wrestling battle! Woo! Beautiful. Valtred, you're up. All right, let's take him down. I'll do it. You guys are too strong. It wouldn't be fair. Plus, I'm wrestling a real pirate. How cool is that? I like you, Carl. Uh, but go easy on the poor fella. You 
got it, Valerie. Take him down, Carl. Take him down. I'll be your challenger. Oh, Captain, she looks awesome, Valtrade. Captain. Go all out. We can't leave without it. Aye, aye, Captain. Right. No one ye look like, really. Oh, there. One. Two. Three. Oh, hell, he's super jacked. <laughs> Don't freak out, Carl. You got this. You got this. You do not got this, Carl. You do not got this. <laughs> Ah. Cheater! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry, did I miss the part where you agreed on no magic shirt rule? He's a magic shirt? Sorry, pal. Captain's orders. Are you kidding? That was awesome! I like you, Carl. Valerie is pissed? <laughs> Ah, that'll be my best story ever. Show me again! Look at that! That sounds unnatural. You're lucky we didn't ask about specifics. Should have negotiated when you had the chance! That's lesson one! Haha, <laughs> Valtran tried to show off. Look at him. You know? You know it, pal. Now, since you lost the Iron Relson challenge, how about we discuss this little errand? Uh-huh. We're being used. Gatman. North of Brisk is the lab of an arcane wizard who died long ago. It hadn't been open for centuries, but others say it's, it conceals coin of undeath accord. What do you want it? It's a powerful token. The undead are compelled to do its bidding. I will use it for... <laughs> Redacted for spoilers? <laughs> really? Alright, that'll be the main game. <laughs> Fine. How do we get it? Fear kept people away this whole time, but you people look capable. My eyes won't fight it. Yeah, we're basically Jedi. Jedi monks. Key map iron? A bit of magic shall do. I shall open the way to the abandoned wizard lab. Of course you will. Or oh, my name is not Key Map then? That's a weird name. Oh, hi, Captain. You coming with? Ain't you coming with? I will stay here and supervise from a safe distance. I mean, make preparations for our departure. I bet you will. All right, we got that whole crew to come with us. And once again, tone established. <laughs> All right. Well then, let's get going. That dude is like unhealthily jacked. I like that. I don't know if you heard it, but the music got like noticeably louder when we walked outdoors. That was cool. Nice transition. No loading or anything. Very smooth, very smooth. Nice art. <laughs> Ports have been done in all of these kind of pirate quest sorts of deals. So, you know, it's hard to impress me at this point, but it's so colorful and lively already. Can we swim? We can totally swim. I'm sure that'll come up later. Yeah, they never let you swim unless you're going to need it later. 
Oh wow, we can go out far. There's probably some secrets out there, but let's stay on task for now. Welcome to the humble boast. Please boast humbly and repeatedly. <laughs> this is a nice brown. Can almost smell the wood. I'm in the market for a new skiff, but I don't know which one I want yet. I just love the salt in the air. Man, yeah, ocean air is fantastic. I love it. Can we buy stuff? Yes, we can. Okay, those look like raw elements we're cooking. Mmm. Oh, are these recipes we can buy? Mmm. Yeah, let me make. Let me see what else they have to s to s for sale before we commit. Oh, that looks like something for someone. Okay, a new lid for Carl. Okay, we'll do that for you. And what is this? Oh, um, that could be useful. Yeah. So you can sell your recipes? Isn't aren't recipes knowledge? <laughs> mm. Potatoes are always good for cooking. Um, eggs are always great for cooking. Oh, need to go get some more cash. I don't feel bad about what we did though. Let's get equipped. So. Carl, give you a new lid. <laughs> and then physical attack power up. Yeah, make Carl stronger. <laughs> oh, and he has the whole crew there with him. Oh, so we can all have guests with us on the right side, you can see. Oh, we got some skills. Okay. Oh, so Vale will be the healer, I guess. Okay, so she has like moon attacks, she has sun attacks. Yeah, they are sun and moon, okay. And Carl... <laughs> he snacks? All right, so I guess he heals in his own way too, so... They got us covered, nice. All right, let's move on. Yeah, we need more money. I'll just change the hair a bit. So let's head to the next area if we can. Apologies <laughs> off limits for the demo. Clearly, clearly, we'll be back later. What's going on back here? Just breathe in and you'll know how the town got its name. Alright. <laughs> Want to get some action in. Alright, let's get... This is Chrono Trigger. <laughs> yeah, this kind of overworld. Yeah. Acceptable. Whoa, look at that dragon to the left. That's cool. Alright. Don't know if we can run yet or get horses or something to move faster. Alright, what do we got here? Is it a fishing hole? Is a fishing hole? I think RPG designers all just want to go back and fish and relax and spend more time with their families. It always feels like venting, but there's always fishing. <laughs> All right, I see how to fish. Let me make sure there's nothing on the side first. Checking it out. Oh yeah, you guys probably haven't seen me play an RPG before. I like to collect everything I can get my little hands on so I can craft things later and have no regrets when people ask for a name, things like Ice Cabbage. All right, so you pressed A to cast. Can I drag it? No. You have to press A twice. Okay, that works. And then, is it directional? Oh, okay. Oh, interesting fishing. Okay, so you gotta kind of aim. 
Yeah, that goes far. Hold up. Yeah, come here, you. Come here. Huh. Nice. Oh, I wonder if we can eat this stuff later. Nice. Let me get a few more. Yeah, this is the riveting action you guys are looking for. Fishing. <laughs> There we go. Nice. Let me catch a couple more. If this is food, this is free food, and I want this free food so we can save money for other good stuff. All right, take you. Anything else? How about you? Oh, that's a cool little sp Oh, man. Okay, so you can fail. A little finesse to it. Last one, last one. Oh, that's hard. I'm gonna catch one of the big ones. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. Take you for later, and let's get going. Well, they made fishing fun. And kind of a problem, I don't always like the fishing in games, but whatever. That was pretty cool. You get to aim and do a little battle. All right. I assume this will be our first dungeon. Yes, perhaps? I have found the door, but it seems I will only be able to lift it a few inches. Valtrade. Oh, yeah. Mark Powell. Commence. Do it. <laughs> Looks like Iron Man will handle, handle it. You better hurry. No sweat, big guy. Demolition is my middle name. You always need a demo guy. Aha! That's what you get, you old door. That's one way to do it. A job well done, everyone. Better let the captain know our part of the mission was a success. Valerie's crew might need pointers in there. I will remain with them for now. I don't trust you. Uh, sure, it can't hurt to have you. Yes, it can. It could totally hurt. Oh, I will prove to be a valuable companion. Mm hmm. Have it your way. Coming well, trade? Aye, good luck in there. It wasn't pretty, but we're in. Looks like that crew's gonna roll out. We still got a mage dude with us though. All right. Okay, now this be a dungeon. My, what an improbable place. And look at this device. I wonder what it does. This is a lot to take in. Why don't you explore a bit while I chill and wait for you to do all the work? Cool. Abandoned Wizard's Lab. All right, he's a wizard, so wizards like to deal with a lot of impossible space and craziness. Mm, all right, let's explore. Crystal, door we can't go through. A push block. And fire. What are you... Based on the old scriptures, you should be able to miss light from different crystals. Hmm. Fire? Oh! A little campsite. Alright. This place is unreal! 
I hope Mouthbound is doing all right. 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats every single day. I wonder how long ago this wizard lived. Want me to read you a story? I only have one so far, but it's kind of spooky. Is that your job? Is that all you do? I guess you're the lore holder. I should say first. You know what? Let's get some action first, and then we'll read that story later. We can cook. What does cooking do? Okay, so we needed these materials to cook. Good to know. Uh, I'll cook one thing. There we go. Got to hold the button. All right. Oh, that's cool. Actually, so it's the steps. Nice. Nice looks real good. All right, so like that's how they handle saving and all that jazz. Good to know. Nice that you can have campfires in the dungeon. All right, let's handle this. Uh. Okay. My super duper loyal followers will know how I feel about push block puzzles. <laughs> okay. That was too bad though. It's on a set track, so it's not gonna be too difficult. climb stuff. What did that do? Okay, I put the green crystal there. And portal. Alright. A lot of portals in this game. Enemy! Alright. Okay, here's some kind of lottery thing over him. I don't know what that is, but it makes me scared. Okay, I didn't get to try out magic last time. Let's try... We got two. Ooh, action commands! All right, Mario RPG, Paper Mario S. Let's do this. Ooh, multiple enemies. Oh, that wasn't great. I assumed that would go forever until I fail. Okay, gotta gotta learn the timing of these blocks. Use your new lid. Ah. There we go. Okay, I assume that boost charges us up. Ah. All right, getting the timing there. Since you're the last one left, go all out. Did he dodge? Okay, block. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. All right. Yeah, with these timing-based games, you have to just learn the timing of various attacks until you feel comfortable. Okay. <laughs> now I feel very uncomfortable. Can we jump this? Yes, we can. Okay, portals us back. Let's figure this out. Can we jump that? Can we jump here? All right. Cool. First dungeon. Ooh, staff. So we know who that's for. Nice. I feel naked without armor or any perks. There might have been a store back there, but we didn't have the money anyway, so... So we gotta get back there now. Uh. Okay. I do like the just jumping. Jumping is cool. Uh, get over there. Nope. 
Oh, I think they give us the lights to help us. Which is good. Don't know what's background or foreground in this style of a game. Treasure chest. I want all the stuff. What do we got? Oh, the blue. Okay, okay. So we're gonna get multiple colored crystals. Change the flavor. The flavor of the portal. We got an apple flavored portal there. Let's take you out. And let's see what a blueberry portal does. This is cool. Oh, totally different place. Uh, jump in the hole. I would be terrified to jump into a hole in impossible space. There's random text in the background. I wouldn't jump into that. It's crazy. All right. Uh, let's go up here. More battle. Ah, can I gust you? Yes, I can. It, it might not be a first strike, though. Um, let's try that again. I want to get this timing right. Combos working together. Not too bad, but I know that can be way better. There we go. Have a sandwich. And she is down. Dang. All right, let's see what his magic is. Uh-huh. Hold it. Okay. Two, three. There we go. Nice. And she revives after the battle. Good to know, good to know. Possible hole. Away with you. Okay, she needs healing. Oh, we're out of MP. Pearl? What does that do? Oh, you can throw them at one. Oh, you can move their position in case you have a uh, multi attack. That's cool. I gotta practice this. I like that. I really like that. Uh oh. Ah, she blocked it, but she was a little too hurt. There we go. Now we're down to one. Oh, wait, she revived? And blocked it. Excellent. Alright. Did they just get up after a while on their own? That's super cool. That's unique. What were we doing before? Okay, we came up here. We really need to heal. Can we heal outside of battle? Uh, yes, we can. Nice. Uh, you eat a sandwich. Oh, you're out. Probably gonna try and save that food for later. We can always run back to the campsite if we need more. What's going on here? All right. 
go down this hole. Okay, three switches. We got three of us. Oh, a whole bunch of enemies. Okay. Well, we're gonna learn this, these battle mechanics one way or the other. Let's roll. All right, let's go. Okay, crescent slash. Now let's hit you guys. Don't like the spike guys, they're super annoying. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty nice. Smooth. A block. And a block. Not this time. Alright. Okay. Uh, have a sandwich. There you go. Oh. Catch ourselves. And we're good. Again? Oh, that hurts badly. And his whole party. That's not great. Uh, let's eat. What does that do? I don't know what the food does. <laughs> I need to read. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna take one of you down. They're hardy. Uh-oh. Carl's down. Zale's still good, but barely. No, Zale's down. All right. So some food. Okay, everybody got in on that action. All right, good. Gotta block that. Okay, let's go. Get him, Carl! Get him! Yeah! Okay, I'll get the timing of that at the end. Give me some time. Okay, it's one, two, three. Okay, and then the lightning. Don't see that attack too much. Let's go. Uh, take you down. Boost. Get him, Carl. All right. The pot lid is putting in work. A boost. It's time. Destructo disc. Oh. Timing. Timing. All right, we'll get it better. That was decent. Not great, though. All right, sails up. Okay, here we go. Take him down. All right, one left. Okay, good job. All right. Leveling up, nice. Ooh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Magic defense, physical defense, rain, physical attack, magic points. Mm. Uh, magic points, not magic attack power. Uh, let's give her some physical D. I mean, uh, attack power. Um, for him, oh, he has different things. You're a healer. We need your HP up. Carl. He can actually increase his magic attack. Is it different every level, I wonder? We need you nice and hardy. For those of you who've actually played the messenger, the... That music motif when we level up sounds a little familiar and ominous. <laughs> Play the messenger. It's awesome. 
but you gotta get all the way, you gotta get pretty far to understand what I'm talking about, so. It's worth it, though. <laughs> all right, let's see. This up here? Wasn't paying attention, but. Let's see which hole is it. Okay, that's still nothing. Uh, and there's a switch I didn't see. Did, 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 did this just appear? I think it did, yes. Ah, that's what's missing. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> Alright, let's knock this out. It's fortunate they put that campsite in the dungeon. Because I'm going to want to load up real quick. We leveled up, though. I think that... Brings our HP back. No, it does not. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Okay. Let's check out what that did in a moment. Wizards always have mysterious homes. Oh. Is that a second one? Yes, it is. Green and blue. Have a nice mint blueberry tart, I want to say. Let us make some food, rest up a bit. Nice. Let's do that again. That's cool. All right get those added effects. Let's listen to this story now. It's been a little bit of action so far. I should have stood to the left. Ooh, scary. Of all the recorded hexes and bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. The story takes us back centuries when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortense, remains to this day the shrewdest navigator on record. Combining Hortet's skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until one day the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she was ready to quit the pirate crew. Ever the believer that the real treasures the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took the resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring a wind for the sails and locked the ship in place in the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, until our navigator gets that silly idea out of her head. But Hortense had already made her final decision. Days went by and both of them sulking with their crew begging for resolution. First they ran out of patience, then they ran out of food, and eventually drinkable water. Then one day after sunset, the pirates, mad with hunger and thirst, mutiny and made the captain walk the plank. As he sank, the captain cursed them by conjuring a wind prison, the Sea of Nightbear. He would channel a deadly storm that would endure forever. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghostly place until only Hortense remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare. Stormcaller's hated, hatred pitted against the navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller Fira will one day sink the ship. Others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortense. 
The legend has it she gets a short break once a day, but for a few seconds, at the precise time the curse was cast, countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship, and they call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing and thus for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Okay, I'm sure that won't come up again. Creepy story. She's the keeper of lore, and she says she only has one story for now, so I assume she'll have more tales later. All right, we have a new portal to go through. Whoa. Much more beautiful environment this time. Waterfall, there's gonna be something hidden behind this waterfall. There always is. Switch. Okay, you summoned enemies, you were a bad switch. Let's go. Okay. Combo? I wonder if it, is it, is it like an Octopath boost, I wonder? Hmm, we'll find out. These guys are troublesome. Get rid of you. And you guys have projectiles. Oh, I didn't even see that enemy over there. Okay, we're getting it. We're learning to block. Combo. Oh, dual text. Okay. Do it on you. Oh, that's a simple one. Just pinch your technique. Okay, we blocked the first one. We gotta block the second one. Okay, so you need more for that. There we go. Use that pot lid. I like that he's just Carl. Let's get the stuff. Another switch. More enemies. We need the practice and the experience. Silver blade. I assume that'll be for you. Nice. We need accessories though. There has to be a first strike we're not doing. I hate this one. Even when you stop it, it feels like that does a lot of damage. I should probably take you out first. Ha! <laughs> 
I assume there'll be dual techs and tri techs. Very appreciated. Um, there we go. We went to college. More. Only two, though. Alright. Take out the spiky boy first. Oh, there's the first strike. Nice. You're going down. Hold on, somebody needs some healing. Those guys are annoying. That's a suicide move. I think that killed him, but the battle ended, so he's fine. And of course, behind the waterfall, as always. Very forgiving to have that campsite in the dungeon. And there's the red crystal. But there's a starter dungeon, just so we get an idea. Is there anything in the water? Quick check. I assume we'll fall to our death. Or worse, if we fall. Let's not do that. Use the red crystal now. Um, we haven't seen the red crystal alone, so let's pop. Nope. The red one in. And see where the strawberry portal takes us. What do we got? What do we got? Is this what I think this is? Yay! More push block action! what everybody wants to see but because it's restricted to these pathways it's not so bad any of you who saw the finale to unsighted saw some real push block action even though i had to edit that down quite a bit wait this will just go straight through made that go away okay impossible space it is cool yeah teleportation makes me uncomfortable these transporters in Star Trek and that always seems like a bad idea Anyway, did I do this wrong? I think I did this wrong. But no matter. Bit of a roundabout way to do it, but got this now. No, not like that. It's kind of cool, though. Nice camera tracking. Uh, 
really nice camera tracking. I'm sure you could have done this faster. <laughs> Forgive me, I am a bit tired. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we got it done. <laughs> what does this switch do? All right, I think I know where this is going. Get one last quick save. Nothing wrong with being a coward when it comes to saving. Alright. Blueberry, strawberry, and mint combined to make vanilla? Anybody out there? Be careful, Carl. We don't know what to expect here. I found something. What is that? M maybe the coin is in there? Uh-oh. Wait. Feels powerful. Everyone get back. All right, let's do this. This is likely the final boss of this little demo here. This will be a test of our skills up until now to see if we're true monks or not. Let's get it going. Have we learned the timing? Kinda. <laughs> All right, we'll figure it out as we go. The music is epic enough. I'm in the mood. Beat him, Carl. Beat him down. I like when normal people like Carl step up. Okay, it has new forms. Um, let's play this safe. Keep everybody healthy and fresh. Boost. Alright, Carl. Do it. Nice. Alright, Valerie's turn. Get some damage in there. Oh, did that charge up the combo a little bit? All right, we'll figure out dual text and tri text when the game comes up for real. For now, let's just take this thing down. Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be something cheap. Okay, that's gonna be hard to time that. Okay, probably right as we land, we can brace our fall like the other falling move. Which is, in retrospect, probably training us for this moment. Alright, we got food. Okay, that's multiple hits. Okay, I'm not sure where to block within all that barrage of stuff. Okay. Boost. It's Valerie's turn to shine. Let's do this. Time? Yes! <laughs> All right. Let's go, crew. Uh, you just keep doing raw damage, Carl. We'll keep you healthy. 
Technically, we have two healers and food, which is good. All right. Again. Yes. All right. I will get that timing better and better. Okay. Keep Carl healthy. And give you a sandwich. All right. Sale and Carl are good. Everybody looks fresh. Oh, this again. Party-wide damage, not good. Can we stop some of it? Okay, that is hard to time that. That almost kills us straight up. Okay. We need party food. Everybody eat up. Let's get this done. Okay, we need more gems for boosting. Okay. Carl's down. Okay. We'll go without him for now. Let's do this. Okay, okay we can block that. I saw the timing. Gonna block two waves of it, though. Alright. Could do with a sandwich. Okay, that's for MP, not HP. Noted. Fortunately, we got Zale there. Two monks are better than one. Oh, you summon minions. Okay, we gotta take you out quick. Unless you summon a whole horde on us. Carl, get over there. Okay, does that thing not take real damage? That's wonderful. Okay, we'll focus our attacks on the main body then. After this, of course. One for everybody. We'll find out if you... Yeah, you don't take damage. Okay. Okay, I gotta focus on the main body and that side, dude, is just a little annoyance. Here we go. Dual tech! Oh, that's cool! That's theirs! I wanna see what a tri tech looks like. Alright, let's go. Okay, um. Be careful here. Can't throw a sandwich just yet. Low on MP and HP. Valerie's really hurting. Uh, first priority. HP. Yeah. Give Val a sandwich. Alright, let's go. Let's keep the damage up. Let's keep the damage up. Nice. Okay, we can block that too. We're learning your timing. Go. Okay, we're running low on resources. Get in there, Carl. Dang. Okay. Carl's hurt. But he's still standing. Get some raw damage. I'm ready. Okay, go Val. Yes! Don't know how long that can go, but they think that was pretty good. Alright, keep Carl healthy. Alright, slow and steady, slow and steady. Alright. We can do another combo, but we need food. Let's keep our HP up unless he has that party move again. This move, yeah, this is a Vortex. That was well-timed. Right, the timing of this is rough, though. Three spins and then throw. Okay. Carl, dang it. All right, I don't know how much health this guy has. We gotta take him down soon. All right. Bell's hurt, but still standing. Let's go. 
Thank you. That was a fantastic suit. Blocked. Alright, we're doing this. Still does a pretty nice amount of damage though. Alright. Monks together. Alright. We can do this. Stay healthy. I will take my time with you. Let's finish this together. Yeah! Oh wow, that actually finished him. <laughs> that was so well timed. Beautiful. That was tight. That was tight. That was awesome. I am very interested. All right. Well done, Sea of Stars. Well done. I'll be seeing you in the future. And if you're interested, drop a like or a comment. Let me know. Maybe we'll make it a series. If not, pick it up yourself. Check it out. If not, I'll see you in other things. Once again, if this is your first time, I am Mighty Z. I play lots of mainline games and lots of indie games. Hopefully you'll find something you like and check me out later. But for now, let's call it. As always, be safe, be well, and goodbye. Man, they made their own Chrono Chigger. Hell yeah.